Hey guys, I am Subhi and once again welcome to my channel Key Differences. In this video lecture, I am going to talk about 14 principles of management given by Henry Fayol. So friends, let's get started. Now first of all, we will understand the meaning of management principles. Management principles are the universally applicable rules or recommendation that guides the behavior or decision making of a manager. Basically, there are two experts who have developed the principles of management. First is Frederick Winslow Taylor who coined the concept of scientific management. The principles laid down by F.W. Taylor are meant for operational or supervisory management. The second one is Henry Fayol who have given 14 principles of management which are applicable for general administration. Now we are going to discuss the 14 principles of management. The first one is division of work. As per this principle, the work should be assigned to the employee or worker who can do it in the best manner. This leads to specialization. We all emphasized on dividing the work into smaller tasks and each task is to be carried out by a specialist which improves efficiency and productivity of worker and also reduces the overall wastage. The next principle is authority and responsibility. Now you need to understand the meaning of authority and responsibility to understand this principle. Authority refers to the right to give command and receive obedience from the subordinates. On the other hand, responsibility is the obligation to perform the duties on time. This means when a person is accountable for the duties assigned to him, it means he is responsible for it. They all emphasized on maintaining a proper balance between these two as they go hand in hand. Now the next principle is discipline. According to this principle, there must be a proper discipline in an organization and every employee must follow the rules of the organization and comply with the terms of employment agreement. Unity of command. The principle states that there is only one boss to an employee who gives him orders and instructions and the employee reports to him only. This reduces chaos and delays in decision making. Our next principle is unity of direction. The principle says that every effort of the organization as a whole must be in the same direction that is towards the accomplishment of organization's goals. Next one is subordination of individual interest to general interest meaning that the first and foremost priority is given to organization's collective good and interest. This means all the decisions are taken keeping the organization's benefit in mind. The next principle is remuneration to employees. According to this principle, employees are to be given a fair and equitable salary. Here the term fair means the employee should get a salary what he deserves and equitable wages means competitive wages that is what other organizations of the same industry are paying for the similar post. A fair and equitable wage to employee increases their satisfaction and productivity. The next one is centralization and decentralization. There must be a proper balance between centralization and decentralization according to Fayol. Now here you need to know what does the term centralization and decentralization means. Centralization refers to a system where top level management retains all the authority. On the other hand, decentralization system is one in which there is delegation of authority at all the levels of management. So, we all emphasize that an organization should be partly centralized and partly decentralized. Now we have a scalar chain. There must be a chain of authority and communication in an organization that flows from the top level to the lowest level. This means that subordinate reports to their immediate bosses that is supervisors who then report to their managers. It helps in giving orders and requesting something and also reduces chaos and delays in operations. The next principle is order. There must be a proper place for everything or everyone and everything or everyone in its intended place. 
This means that men and material must be at their designated place at the right time. This avoids hindrances in operation and also improves efficiency of the employees. Equity. Equity implies kindliness and justice in the behavior of managers towards workers. This creates a friendly environment between the superior and subordinates at the workplace and also helps in increasing loyalty and devotion. A good sense and experience is required to ensure fairness to all employees. That is, all the employees should be given fair and unbiased treatment. The next principle is stability of personnel. Employees should be selected through a rigorous procedure of recruitment and once they are appointed against a vacancy or post, the organization should try to maintain their stability and continuity. That is, they should be given a proper time to show the results. This will reduce employee turnover and also increase their effectiveness and efficiency in the long run. The 13th principle is initiative. Managers should motivate the employees to give their ideas and suggestions to the organization to support their creativity. This will develop a sense in them that their views are valued in the organization and also increase their interest in the work. Esprit de Corps Esprit de Corps is a French word which means team spirit. Managers should promote teamwork and harmony to maintain coordination and cooperation among the employees. This will help in developing an atmosphere of trust and unity in the organization. Well friends, this brings me to the end of this lesson. I hope you find the lesson very useful. So guys, please like this video, share it with your friends and if you have any queries and feedback for me, please comment below and friends do subscribe our channel for more updates. I'll be back soon with a new lesson. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.